Yo, what is good, YouTube? Back in with another video. Uh, today, a little something different, bro. I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial on how to uh, hang a skateboard deck on the wall like these ones, if you can see them. Because uh, I know some of you guys don't know how to, so, you know, I just felt like doing it, bro. Nothing else to do today, so fuck it. Uh, we got this deck right here. You will see what it is. If you do not follow my other videos and you don't know what it is, but I'll show you, obviously. I can get this shit open. But yeah, obviously if you watch my videos and you're subscribed, you know exactly what's in this box, so not much of a surprise, but this shit is impossible to get into. So this is a little bit of an unboxing and a tutorial, you know? Here it is though. Oh yes sir. It is the cherry deck from Supreme. Show close up right there. The cherry deck was definitely the best deck that came out the whole first week and probably the best deck that's gonna come out in the whole season. Uh, if any of you guys follow Supreme, I did indeed get a poncho. But what you need, I should explain this in the beginning, what you need to hang the deck to the wall, obviously is the deck, skateboard, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you could use some fishing wire, fishing line, Right here I got this one, just one that's strong enough to hold up the deck, so this one is holds up six pounds. It's definitely enough to hold up a deck, so and you can use a push pin or nails. Push pins are obviously weaker than nails. You know what a fucking push pin is, so I use push pins because I don't have nails and I don't really want to fucking bang some nails into the wall. So either one works. And what you can also do is take off the plastic or just keep the deck in the plastic. But I think it's better to keep the deck in the plastic because it stays protected. So if you keep the deck in the plastic, all you gotta do is punch some holes in the plastic, make it big enough so you can thread the wire through. Just put it on the where the trucks go make a couple little holes easy enough should have cut my nails bro y'all gonna see these musty ass nails but uh since we're gonna put the uh hang the deck vertically since the graphic is obviously vertical uh we're only gonna put two holes on the top if you're hanging it sideways then you would obviously put the holes on this one these two right here and then on the other side these two right here you don't want to punch holes through there because it's easier, I mean, it's harder to carry the skateboard like that, and you gotta have the fucking Avon, obviously. So, cut a fishing line. You can't really see the length that I forgot, but cut a fishing line about, uh, I bet say about a foot worth or six inches, however long you wanna do it. The more fishing line you have, the easier it is. And if you can, try to do it on a dark surface so you don't lose the fishing line. And what you wanna do is Get the fishing line through the back of the deck. Just push the plastic on the other side against the deck. And then tie the string. Just do a bunch of knots, bro. Just knot it, like two to three knots. And you want a good length too. So that way, if you have the line too close to the deck and the length is too short, it's gonna be a lot harder to get the hook on or to hook it onto the push pin. So right there we got one knot. We're gonna probably do at least two to three. All right, there we go, we got three. Strong enough, look at this. Just holding up the deck by the fishing line. And that's it, just tied up. You guys can see up close, if you can even see that, it's tied up, I got some knots on there. And then on the other side, completely don't even notice that shit. Like, you don't notice that, bro. It's invisible, basically. All right, hopefully you guys can see this well. Here's the push pin. Uh, it doesn't matter what color push pin you have, obviously, it's fucking just gonna go in there. But what you're gonna wanna do is just hold the string up and then just hook it over the top of it. And then just lower it down, that's it. As you can see, the push pin is probably going through some slack, but like I said, push pins aren't that strong. 
and you don't want to get the nails. But yeah, there you go. That's how it's done. Super easy. You can do this in like five minutes. You just got your little push pin right there. Hook it on the string. And that's it. Alright guys, here's the finished product. Now, bye now.